How goes everybody? My name is Sam Cham and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. In the last episode we went on to this hill here and found this bee named Buzz Buzz. Now we're gonna go back to our house because well there's really nothing left to do. And that's really gonna be about it. So just go along here and what the hell? Starman, it's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling the Master Gaga's plan, but Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. So if you notice right there at the beginning of the song, it had the same little whistle as it does in, or at the outside, you know, the little... Yeah, it's just in multiple songs and no one really knows why. And this boss is impossible to lose to. And you're really new doing nothing. Buzz Buzz really does everything for you. It's just a little thing to see all, all the PSI things you can use, which is kind of cool, I guess. And get a little taste of what a boss is like. And I like how Picky likes to try, like, it says somewhere, like, Picky tries to chant something and fails. And Pokes is just an asshole and just, like, sits behind you the whole damn time. Just jack shit. And just PK Fire disappeared. So I'm gonna try to make, um, to, to do each episode around 20 minutes. If it goes a bit over, a bit under. Oh, well, see, right there it said the Picky trying to chant a spell. Because he's trying to imitate them using PK Fire or PK Shield. Or PK PSI Shield, I guess. And so on and so forth. That's just neat. Yeah, I'm good. but on the back on the other note, after we gain a bunch of experience and level up, um, we're going to make it about 20 minutes. If it goes over or under, oh well. I'm just going to try to make it 20. Take a big chance there. He came over 10 years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you will be fighting enemies sent by God, I guess. Those humans who have evil thoughts. Oh my, evil people? Due to God, guess influence? What is he, God then? How do you have, like, influence over someone's mind? That's weird. I was wondering if the mailbox said anything. This music's interesting. Oof. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both are really gonna get it now. Oh, okay, what are you gonna give them? No ice cream or something? Ow! Jeez. God, he looks like freaking Cartman. By the way, I'd be happy you've left time soon. Your family, or I'm tired of your family living next door. <laughs> well, thanks. Really? You, my dad owes you that much? And you live in poverty, and yet you went to a fancy restaurant? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I think you're lying, Bub. Buzz Buzz, get back here. Aye! I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts. No! No! Buzz Buzz! Buzz Buzz, come back to me, buddy. I was much weaker than I thought. So I must now begin your adventure. See you! Well, just remember, I just remember, listen to my final words. To defeat I guess, your own power must unite with the Earth. The Earth will channel your power to multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. They're called your sanctuary. One is near your own head. It's called Giant Sam. Go there first. Yes. A very intelligent man. Everything's getting dark. <laughs> Before I pass, I'm going to give you the sound stone. It records the melodies of your sanctuary locations in this stone. It's pretty awesome. Do you want to hear it one more time? No. Good. It's dawn outside. Doesn't matter to me, I'm fading. Ugh. And he died. No problem. I'm tired. Nag, nag, nag. What the hell did he do to your kids? Pokey, are you alright? My dad really got after me. He said no dessert for the rest of the decade. Oh, I was right. I don't want to look at the meteorite anymore. It's funny, the, the actual definition of a meteorite is an asteroid that has crashed on the Earth. My husband is very soft hearted. Yeah, I would beg to differ. A meteor is something that is falling through the atmosphere, and an asteroid is a rock in space. Just a little extra things. 
And you get a little beginning of Pollyanna right here, isn't that so cute and nice and you go ugly. Mommy, I had one hell of a night. And what the hell? Pictures taken instantaneous, I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Get ready for an instant memory, look at the camera and say fuzzy pickles. Boom, there you go, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Well, okay. Mommy, someone just fell out of the sky. You look tired, mother understands things. Eat some steak. Oh, eat some steak? I guess you could have made your favorite thing dick and it said eat some dick and screw off the bed. <laughs> oh my god. Which so I guess, I don't know, I guess it's just a, something people look over when they have put their food as loving or something. And daddy, talk to me. It's funny because my dad works a whole lot. I mean, I see him pretty often, but it says like he works from like noon to like midnight. So like if I go to school per se, I'll see him. I won't see, or I won't see him when I wake up, and then I come home, and he's not there. Then I'll go to sleep, and then he comes home. So basically, he's at home when I'm at. Basically, our like clocks are switched, essentially, some of the time. Doggy, 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 doggy. And we gain more experience, and we got a snake. Snake, snake. Oh my God! I was playing Final Fantasy X-2, and Riku said that. The little snake snake thing, I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. More useless experience because almost they only give you one. If you remember before, that liar exaggerate guy told us to come to his house and kids in real life you should never ever do this. But we're not like your average kid. We go into people's houses. But shouldn't the plural form of house be heist if the plural form of mouse is mice? Anyways, I mean, this is me because I trust you. First, let's go to the basement. Uh, I can tell by the look on your face, you really don't want to hang out. That's right, we're not even related. I think I'm a pretty big liar. Well, that's your name. Fun story. Uh, one time I was at like a McDonald's with my mom. And apparently she's a pharmacist and one of her patients, I'm pretty sure, is a pedophile. And apparently he was there at the McDonald's, and then like he was somewhat close to me, and my mom just yelled, "Get away from my son!" Just a little story. I'm like, "Whoa, whoa, what the hell? You have a huge haul. I'm the only one. This doesn't look too good." Oh, he wasn't lying. This is a sign of a lies, but I just need a little more time. Uh huh. You gee garlic? Yes, you told us. Go home. You Getting the way my work, you might get greedy thoughts. What do you mean greedy thoughts? Ooh, spooky sound. Yeah, this is the only place where you will hear that little tune. And eh, that's all that's over here. Just a little foreshadowing of what's to come. Well, it's not foreshadowing, it's just that statue plays a pretty big role in this game. No problem. Well, I keep hitting the left button on my controller. Uh, because I am playing this on the Super Nintendo. Granted, it's a repro card. I only got it for like 10 bucks. Or 13 dollars, actually. So, yeah, I guess, say all you want about reproduction cards. It's just that it was really the cheapest only chance you can get a physical copy of this, even though it's BS. But, anyways. Well, that bird kicked our ass. And thank God he dropped a cookie. But we'll go use the bread roll instead because it gives us more. And okay, so right there, what happened was the game has a mechanic where it knows, regardless if you, if there is no absolute way that the enemy can ever get a hit on you, it will just say you win, and it'll do that. And that's an excellent way for grinding in this game on weak enemies. However, in Mother 3, they do the same thing, sort of, but you have to be running, and um, it you don't get it, gain any experience. It just kicks the, like, basically just removes the enemy from the area. And let's go to town. I'm surprised I haven't gained the power of hypnosis yet. 
kind of crazy if you think about it. What, uh, someone trying to back up or something? Eh. Hate being outside windows. Why not public library? Use the library. Okay, library's a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info on Bur Earthbound. Really? Really, guys? Break the fourth wall? Okay. Hi! Kids can only borrow maps all this time. What the frack's the point of the library, then? Okay, I don't know if this map works. I really don't. I haven't played it all, all yet. Okay. Yes! God damn it! Yes! It works! Oh, God, I was hoping that was gonna work. Giant step, there's a monster gun in the spot. No one knows what it is. Alright. I'm craving for the big test tomorrow. It's about games, hotel rule, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'll explain this. Basically, yeah, it just talks about the basic mechanics of the game. That's really it. We got Michael Myers over here. We had a few words. Jesus is talking to him for now. Can we talk to him later? I don't know. I like this music. Do, 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 do. First things first, let's go up and talk to this guy. Sam, I'm doing watch out for duty for the hideout. Can you take over? Sure. Just kidding, being watched out is my job. Well, I'll just come up here and talk to this guy. I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I know you want it for a long time. It's the best cap for someone really brave like you. Well, thanks. I dream about you and you're trying with a cute girl and your dream comes true to say hi to her for me. After all, I'm single. Well, I'm single too, so I need her. You've grown up a lot since I last saw you began to look like a man. You're so cool. I think I really like you. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, actually, I, I don't know. Funny thing, there was actually one time a gay guy that liked me. It was kind of weird. I think his name was like... Matthew? I want to say that's what it was. He's a dumbass. <laughs> and, well, I'm not saying a dumbass for that reason, just dumbass in general. These mole guys will just tell you about stuff in the game. Sure. If you want to look over it, you can pause, but I'm not going to. I'll explain it mostly. Yeah, the TV screen. So basically it's saying when it has a green swirly, you get an extra attack on the enemy. If it's a blue, then it's normal, or black, it's normal. And if it's a red, the enemy gets an extra attack on you. And that happens... Well, we both met. So that's why I was black, but if he... I looked at him from behind, it'd be green, and if he looked hit me from behind, it'd be red. Oh, that's bad. Only in America. You haven't seen yourself, it's only a rumor. Well, I heard it from a magic bee from ten years in the future, so I'm gonna believe it's real. Though, again, I could have been high. And you won! So I'm getting one experience. Yeah, those are useless. Weakest enemy in the game. Doggy. Doggy, doggy, doggy. Gain some more experience. God, I don't care about the burn. Well, I guess I do. Birdie. And a birdie. He gave us some experience. And we got the power of hypnosis. Yes. This arcade is full of sharks. Oh, God. This is like Sharknado. And kids never get a hamburger out of the trash can. Just don't. Just just game it done. Get more value for four bucks and eight bucks of French fries. Move better when you energy when you eat better foods. You're calling this better food. I mean if you compare it to McDonald's to Panera, yeah, McDonald's is actually better. You know it's every single way. Would you like a shake with that fry? Oh my god. God, there's some creeps in this town. Okay, so when I played this game back like one three years ago, I would say that to girls and they wouldn't know what it meant. I knew what it meant, but oh god. I was work. I'm Rufini the dog. I'm being possessed by the spirit of the game designer. What? You're the game designer? Are you Sheik Satui Toy? I guess. That's kind of cool. Or whoever made the game's name is Rufini. Anyway, so yeah. For those who don't know what the shake with that, or fry with that shake means, it means like fry, like your penis, shake, like your ass shaking. Anyways, that's that. And is this a lady that gives you. No. Nope. Don't want any of the old stuff. Yeah, come in, come in. What do you want? 
Uh, I want to get the cheap bracelet that is $98. Yeah, that makes like a whole freaking slot of sense. A cheap bracelet that's $98. It's like $8 now, like $3 back then, like in the 90s. I I'm not sure how much the inflation has been, but I think it's about that much or something like that. I don't know, something, something, I don't know, something. And what does this people say? Drugstore is to the east, east the opposite of west. Yeah, my sister wouldn't know that at all. A girl named Maddie lives in Tucson. Wait, wait, Maddie? She runs a preschool. She's really special. I bet she is. Don't forget to ask. Oh, well. Welcome to the beautiful town of Onet. That, this town is pretty, I guess. The reps in my heart's... Oh, ooh, oh, sorry. I was walking over them. Don't want to walk over my heart. Psst, whisper. Psst. Shh, what if someone hears us? Right, whisper. <laughs> you jerk, because... <laughs> what? Oh, that was stupid. Oh, it's stupid, though. You're going down in the town. Welcome to the own net, yeah. Going to hell. Da, 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 da. What do you got to say? City Hall to the east, you know, where the sunset rises. Again, my sister wouldn't know that. She doesn't know her directions. Do, 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 do. Na, 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 na. Da, na, 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 na. We got pig pen. The point overlooks and see it has a beautiful scene. It's that way. Okay. I bet it is beautiful. Just come over yonder. What we got here? Luxury second home. Break point. Real estate. More like point break. Uh, yeah, I don't got that kind of money. See, I'm like eight or something. I don't know. You can't afford it. It was a waste of my time talking to you. Well, great. I like this guy. He must be the ha I must be the happiest man in the world. I like playing your trumpet? I didn't think it was that haunting. But on that, what that realtor guy said. Oh, let's look at this sign here. Bush Hospital. The best hospital care in Onet. We put your life operating in your hands. Well, there's a sign, I think, in the hospital that says something like free um, coffins for sale or something like that. Uh, something like... Who the hell? Opening soon pizza. Okay, get digging around the trash. That's trash. We get fruit. A can of fruit. You want to start a fight or what? Who are you? Escape punk. These guys can be a bit tough if you're not properly prepared or if you don't have to get the cheap bracelet. What I was saying about that guy with the the realtor, house realtor, is that a friend of mine met uh, Marco Rubio, like he was doing something in our city, and she went up to him and he was like, here, get a picture and go, you, you, you don't matter. Probably because, well, you don't can't vote, so fuck you. Yeah, crook, we call it crooked, crooked hill, we call it, well, uh, it's not real crooked, it's just being an asshole, more like it. Yeah, the polo punk became tame. That reminds me of when my brother did the pogo stick in his 8th grade talent show. That was funny. I forget what the song I played. It was you. You beat up my buddy, didn't you? Nah, it wasn't me. It's funny thing. I had a dream the other night that I was coming home from school and I got beat up on the way home. Anyways. And maxed out. The reason why I leave in this in is because it's like a, you can't, like, avoid the end of this encounter. So, that's why. Bum, bum. I love the psychedelic backgrounds in this game. It's like one of the best parts. One of the best parts in it. And we get a burger. Cheese burger. Cheese burger. Cheese burger. Pepsi. Pepsi. Yeah, you sound like a real whiner to me. Don't get lippy or kick your butt. Well, jeez. If you notice the type of games are like Donkey Kong and other populous ones. Frank has a currently power weapon. Okay. Slive spit. You want some gum? Get your own twit. You're the twit. Okay, yes, I know. You gave a hint to your enemy. Such a rocking dude. Yeah. About that. Spanky. Who you calling Spanky? We're not like the freaking little rascals or something. Sam Tex, and we became tame. He didn't die. He became tame. I also got probably got a hospital bill. And we level up. That's always wonderful. To tell you the truth, I like drinking tea and eating fresh vegetables. That doesn't fit my super cool image, does it? 
I mean, whatever suits you. No problem here. Hey, kid, you want to become a member? Sure, come after and finish Earthbound. Wait, I'm playing the game. No, I don't want to be part of your stupid club. Well, after we fight this guy, the Yes Man Jr., that is going to be it for us today, my homebrews. In the next episode, we are going to defeat Frank Fly and his supposed robot. So, till next time, my homebrews, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful, come on, get through the door, life goodbye.